Okay, part three. Bilderberg Conference 2013 is a setup. Part three, very deep. What are our supposed heroes, Alex Jones and David Icke? They've both been around for a long time. Both probably had some period of quiet on the um, conspiracy front. And um, what's what's the big cover up? Why stage an event like this if nothing's going to come of it? Um, my feeling is Nibiru. And I think it's possible, and this is out there, that we're going to have this big event a week or two late was supposed to be at the end of May and I'm sure if my friends and family listen to this it's going to make them worry even more about me and it may well be that I'm wrong and then um, you know it's okay so I'm wrong I'll say sorry afterwards right so this is my thoughts you've listened to part one and part two now, I was watching Alex Jones a lot, and, you know, when he started going on about gun confiscation and stuff like that, you know, but around that time or coming up, or even before this Bilderberg thing, in fact, I went over to Alex Jones really expecting to see something about the tornadoes, the volcanoes, the earthquakes, it all seemed to be leading up to something. It was another wave of shit happening to the world. And I just thought, Alex Church has got to be saying something about this, because I know he's, I've heard him debunk climate change before, or at least the human cause of it, which may be true. It may be true, I've got to accept that. I always thought it was caused by humans. I thought this many cars, this many factories. Well, I know what is caused by humans. All the fucking poisoned rivers and lakes and the pests. I mean, that's human cause. As a court. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. But anyway, so I just thought he'll be doing something on that shortly. But no, that's when I turned over and he was talking about the Bilderberg event. So, he's never spoken about Nibiru or anything like that, even though there's a lot of archaeological evidence. Maybe it doesn't come in his remit, but, you know, why not mention it? Why not, if you're into all this stuff, why not accept it as a possibility? And David Icke, as far as I know, hasn't been into that. He's, you know, when he's talked about space and planets, he's talking about the moon is a fake, uh, or is a, you know, like a Star Wars mega spaceship, and Saturn's rings are angled at that specific way. They've been created by an alien race who's using them to sort of communicate to Earth. It's plausible, but he hasn't talked about Nibiru. Now, many of you may not think much about Nibiru. I would advise you to listen to Zachariah Sitchin, which I've mentioned it before. I I have a feeling about Nibiru, and definitely this, you know, other people have an astral traveller. He really looks into it, and he goes into all the solar data and shit. And he, he's given me a heads up that it's going to get rough in the next few days as well. So that's obviously made my mind think about this now so then so what's this got to do with the Bilderberg thing right Bilderberg evil bastards probably aliens love a human sacrifice now what have they done so, so say something really catastrophic happens but you know it doesn't kill everyone but takes all the infrastructure out 
the um, say the elite aren't really going to want to live around here anymore it's not going to be their thing so they go off into cry status whatever wake set the alarm clock for 50 years time wake up and their their hope is probably that um, most humans going to be dead I think they believe that we'll tear each other apart when the food runs out and um, yeah, perhaps they won't go into Christ status straight away perhaps they'll observe for a bit and see see how it goes but um, if Alex Jones if I'm right about him being on the wrong side with the evil people you know, if that is right I've got to say I don't want it to be because I do like the guy but if it was and all this gun stuff because they did go on about the gun stuff so much um, you know and I think the effect of people thinking that you're going to get your guns taken away or especially you know the shops are running out of bullets and there's no bullets available it's kind of going to make people want them more or maybe there's no bullets available for the smaller guns so you've got to buy big guns with big bullets so when the shit comes down you know America is going to be a very dangerous place a lot of guns a lot of guns and um, I think that's not a good recipe for trying to build a community when every third man's got a wicked arsenal in his garage because when you've got guns all you think about is defence you know, build up your turrets and your defences and s sit there on guard but in England sure the farmers gonna have a shotgun and stuff like that but there's not gonna be so many guns they have pistols but pistol over a range of 10 meters you gotta be pretty good with a pistol to hit someone who's perhaps running away so Perhaps they want to just give themselves a little, you know, a little more chance that England will fall by the wayside and enjoyably get rid of a load of people who would be good in that sort of situation. People prepared for it. So, <laughs> my theory is right. This could be a sign that they'll do this and they won't give a toss because Nibiru is around the corner about to cause destruction. And I did get a funny feeling earlier this evening. It's not like this the first time I've had this. But a customer of mine who was supposed to get back to me or wanted me to call him in the evening called me to say don't call me now I'm going out I'll call you and I can probably call me tomorrow but that almost made me think um, he's had the uh, the call because he's one of these people I expect could be on that list so we'll see I'm most likely wrong and I'm an idiot for getting out of bed and making this but just in case okay thanks bye